your parents. Pride, tradition, passion. Be proud of who you are and what you are. Your parents. When they face adversity, plant their feet, take a brace, hit them right in the jaw, and say, bring it on. Want some, get some. CU Athletics and U.S. Cellular present The Ruffin McNeil Show. The Ruffin McNeil Show is brought to you by U.S. Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of the ECU Pirates. And now, the voice of the Pirates, Jeff Charles. Welcome to the Ruffin McNeil Show. This record setting performance by Justin Hardy for the Pirates. All smiles. East Carolina wins it. 34 to 6 over Tulane. Coming up on the show, Coach Ruff will join me. We'll have highlights of this one. Also, our Brian Bailey will go one on one with Lamar Ivy. Lamar's been playing great in the secondary. Jeff Connors will be here, strength and conditioning coach at ECU. Another installment of Camp Connors. And then a look ahead to the Tulsa Golden Hurricane coming up on Friday night in Tulsa. Coach Ruff will join me right after this. The Ruffin McNeil Show is brought to you by U.S. Cellular. Download the free Mascot and Me app for iPhone and Android to get your picture with Petey. U.S. Cellular. Hello, better. Hey, man, I'm stranded. You think you can come pick me up? Uh, where you at? Uh, Route 13, 50 miles out. I'm kind of busy right now. It's going to be a little bit. Awesome. Why was U.S. Cellular built to work way out here? Because being stuck in the middle of nowhere should be up to your buddy, not your spotty wireless provider. With 4G LTE coverage, for nearly 90% of our customers, you get national coverage that works harder locally. U.S. Cellular, hello better. You've built wealth by traveling your own path. Investing in the strength of your ideas. Capitalizing on the best in you. At bb and Wealth, we understand your passion for what you do and your vision for what you'll do next. That's why our experienced advisors create the financial plan that works at every step of your journey. Sharing more than 140 years of knowledge to give you the power to make the best decisions and to continue sharing knowledge of your own. bb and Wealth. Sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. Got him in group as a go. Not just a startup, an upstart. <sighs> Gotta get going. Gotta be good. Good? Good. Growth is the goal. How do we do that? I talked to UPS. They'll help us out. New technology, smart advice. We focus on the business and they take care of the logistics. UPS. Good going. We get good? That's great. 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 <laughs> I love logistics. During the Suddenlink faster, better, easier switch event, get internet five times faster than DSL. That outranks its competitors in speed and satisfaction, according to PC Mag. And get TV with free HD. Plus, access your Netflix account with TiVo from Suddenlink. Call 877-566-3401 today and enjoy 15 meg internet and TV together for only $59 a month. Plus, add phone for just $10 more a month. This way to get more for less, only from Suddenlink. Tired of hearing no? We, we say, say yes. yes. DriveHereNow.com is the source for your next ride. Four locations, over 250 vehicles. We got a ride for you. Greenville Motor Company. Memorial Drive. East Carolina Auto Exchange. Charles Boulevard. Washington Motor Company. Carolina Avenue. Kinston Auto Mart. Vernon Avenue. Cars, trucks, SUVs, motorcycles. We, we got them. Good, bad, slow, no credit. You're, you're approved. approved. Credit union financing to buy here, pay here. We, we do, do it all. all. Call 252-756-5100 to get riding now. Or online at DriveHereNow.com. Why do you ECU online? Because I wanted a program that supports students from registration to graduation. Because I want to feel connected to my professors and classmates, although all my classes are online. Because it allows me to take classes on my own time. A traditional university, professional faculty, North Carolina's leader in online education. Because I want to be ready for tomorrow. Because I am excited about tomorrow. Because my future starts here. East Carolina University, tomorrow starts here. A great win for the Pirates, 34 to 6. So many things to talk about on the show this week. So many positive things, so many good things. So, Ruff, uh, what was most pleasing to you this win? The way the team concept, we've been talking about a dedication and a commitment to our team first 
embracing your role, doing whatever we had to do to make the team better. Everyone, coaches, players, players, coaches, and then dedication and commitment to be able to focus on a vision and mission all game long. After the loss of Cincinnati, tough loss, uh, and the vision, visual of resiliency, I thought and know was shown by our team tonight, uh, today versus a really tough Tulane team. You know, it's always pleasing for a coach when both the offense and the defense plays well, complements each other, special teams play well. So it was really a total team effort, wasn't it? It was a total team effort. You know, I, one uh, example was uh, when we went for it on fourth down, fourth and one. They stopped us. Defense came back, almost got a safety, uh, forcing a punt, return, got possession of football. Uh, drove it down to, to score it for the half. So, uh, very that's the process of working together. All and there's a fourth side, the sideline. The enthusiasm was fantastic again, and the guys are really taking a lot of pride in that. Let's now go to those first half highlights. Great crowd of just over 48,000 on Military Appreciation Day, and all eyes on Justin Hardy in that first series. Ruffy comes out and he makes two completions here. Yeah, it was great to get started, and you know, wanted to finish that drive. I went for it on fourth down, feel like we could make it, but um, you know, I was proud of uh, us getting started quick. But wish we got get, got that one in. Yeah, Justin got the first one for 14 yards and the second one for seven yards. Pirates uh, get a three downs and out, come back with the football again, their second possession, and here's Justin again. It just seems like a nothing phases this kid. No, he's, he's, he's because I think he puts in the time, J.C., of work, and he's a great competitor. He gets one here for 22 yards, sets up the field goal attempt. Warren Harvey gets it to go from 35 yards out. Warren, two for two on field goal attempts, and that was good to see. It was good to see Warren coming back. We talk about the team being resilient. Uh, and, uh, and and going through tough times, criticism, what have you. Warren did too and came back like, like a pirate. More action now later in the first quarter. Pirates with the ball. This was a really, really nice series. Breon goes for 15 yards on the first play and then a big pass play here. Rough Shane throws complete to Isaiah Jones and this was a big one of 32 yards. Oh, that was a big one, a uh, big connection there. Isaiah is such a competitor just like De uh, Deuce uh, as well, but good to see uh, Zay make a big play there. Yeah, this was a really pretty drive and then Carden comes right back, throws to Cam Worthy. Cam had a big game too. Yeah, Cam, uh, this was a game of competitive plays and, and Cam uh, has that ability. And then uh, Shane comes right down the field and finds Isaiah Jones. He was wide open in the end zone. 10 nothing. Pirates go up on top. This was the catch that we'll always remember, Ruff. This was number four. It broke the record, and Shane Carden throws complete here to Justin Hardy. Yeah, that combination there uh, has done a lot for one another, and uh, really, uh, really proud of those two. Yeah, uh, doing a great job. And that, of course, as we mentioned, that was the one that broke the record. That was number 350, and Justin's uh, career is 350th catch. And then East Carolina coming back here, and this was a pass play from Carden again to Justin Hardy. They hook up for 20 yards on this one, and then East Carolina coming back now on the ground. Breon Allen goes for 15 yards late in the first half, and rough uh, 17 points on the board in the first half, and that was a big play toward the end of the half. Yeah, it was a great job. First by defense making a stop, J.C., then forcing a punt, punt, then offense driving down there. Very, very efficient drive. I was really proud of our kids bounce back. And that's the way the first half ends. We'll be right back with more on the Ruffin McNeil Show. Sponsored by Sudden Link. Bundle and save with Sudden Link. Call 1-800-880-5880. North Carolina's leader in distance education, a degree from an established university, an opportunity for a brighter future, a real option for adult learners. East Carolina University. 
We've been monitoring a lot of chatter and seeing an unusual amount of activity at this high priority location. Phelps Chevrolet. Turns out this location is selling huge numbers of new vehicles, utilizing exceptional customer service, a knowledgeable sales staff, and pricing and financing tactics that give you your best deal. Phelps Chevrolet. Come in and get you one. We recommend you investigate for yourself. Be advised, however, you may drive off in your perfect new vehicle. This is Sean. We saw him holding a Bud Light, which means he's up for whatever happens. In this case, Jimmy Johnson. I, Jimmy Johnson, <laughs> challenge you to a little football game. Don't get nervous. Are we ready? I'm ready. Jimmy Johnson has dominated the electric football circuit. Yeah, look at the little Jimmy run. He's hurt. He's pushing through. He's pushing oh, through. oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's a real Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens. Why do you ECU online? Because I wanted to boost my confidence in my career. Because it gives me the tools to succeed at every step of the way. Because I have a goal to earn my degree before she does. A traditional university, professional faculty, North Carolina's leader in online education. Because I'm preparing for tomorrow. It has the program I needed. Because I'm excited for tomorrow. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. Welcome back to the show. We talked about one of the keys stopping the run of Tulane. They were a good rushing team. They were averaging 160 yards per game on the ground and rough in the first half and carried over to the second half. You guys really did a number on them. Yeah, they did a really good job. Uh, we talk about that's a part of our goals. We want to play hard and tackle great, but controlling them and stopping the run and then be able to affect the quarterback. I thought the guys did a great job having great run gap integrity. Everyone doing their job. And on the sideline, I told them they're really doing a great job of playing what we call 11 man football. Everyone doing their job, responsibilities. They're going to make some plays because they coach too, they practice too, but our kids kept standing by their job, doing what they're supposed to do, and it was great for us to be able to control the run like we did. Yeah, the Pirate defense played great, and then the offense caught fire in the fourth quarter and put the game away. Let's now roll those second half highlights. After three downs and out, Pirates get the ball offensively for their first series. And again, we talk about Shane Carton and Cam Worthy. Cam had such a big game. Makes a great catch here for 20 yards, Ruff. Yeah, it was, it was big by defense getting out of the field early. Great catch here by Cam. Great throw by Shane. Drive stalls, and then Tulane comes out offensively here, and uh, Tanner Lee gets sacked. I'll tell you who was all over the field making big plays was Brandon Williams. Yeah, Brandon's played well all year long, and, uh, you know, controlling the run, we have a chance to affect the quarterback. Good job here. Uh, Brandon's uh, one of our captains every game. Yeah, that was on a fourth down and five, and the Pirates take over control of the football now. Cam Worthy makes another big catch. Yeah, he's such a big target with those great hands. Well, he is. He does a good job attacking the ball, and like, like I mentioned earlier, he, he has the ability to make competitive plays. And the Pirates move the ball down the field, have to settle for the field goal here. Warren Harvey gets this one to go from 33 yards out, and the Pirates have a 20-3 to lead at the end of the third quarter, we pick up action now in the fourth quarter. And, uh, Ruff, we just continue to show these plays. But Brandon Williams again, loss of four yards on this one. Yeah, good job by the up front people giving Brandon a chance to, to fit nicely up front, just like a running back in his offensive line. Great job again by Brandon making the play. Yeah, I thought you guys really dominated the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. Yeah, we did. Now, we felt that was a, a, a must for us to be able to do on both sides of the ball, like you said, J.C. Jimmy Williams then gets a chance to run the ball on a reverse. This one goes uh, for 12 yards. Pirates moving the ball down the field here in the fourth quarter. And then Shane throws complete to Isaiah Jones, who had a big game again. 16 yards on this pass play on a first down and 10. And then as we've seen uh, late in games in the fourth quarter, you'd like to get Marquez Grayson in, and he takes this one in for the touchdown. Yeah, Mar Mar Marquez has done a great job downhill runner. Great job uh, making plays for us. Pirates go up 27 to 6, feeling pretty good about this one. Three downs and out again for Tulane. Pirates come back with the football again, and Marquez again gets the ball. Goes up the middle for 15 yards. He's he's a load. He's about a 205 pound running back. Hard to get him on the ground. And then he goes uh, for another run here, and you're just kind of feeding him the ball here, Ruff. Well, you know, we're running clock, running clock down. Offensive line in that case has to do a great job, and they did, but. Just running time, getting out of the game. The game's pretty much in hand, uh, ready to go home. Yeah, and uh, Shane Carden puts the icing on the cake. He takes this one in from eight yards out for the touchdown. And you can paint this one purple. The Pirates win it 34-6. to Just very excited for him. Uh, a record he deserves to have. Um, and I hope to you know pad it up here the next couple weeks. 
Um, but just a great guy who's, who's been asked about this all year, about this record, and, and especially this week. And he's always said the same thing about the team. And, and that's what makes him such a great person, great receiver, and uh, one of my great friends. Um, very, very happy for him. Um, you know, that's, that's all I got to say. Uh, very special. You know, um, it's been a long time coming. You know, he's been waiting for it all year, which everybody has. And just having the chance to say that it's my record, you know, it's, it's a great um, privilege. Um, after those two losses, you know, we had a little bit of taste in our mouth. You know, we want to get back on the right track. So um, the main focus was to come out here and get this win this week. Congratulations to Justin. What a terrific performance in his entire career here at East Carolina. What an outstanding young man he is and very deserving of all this attention, Ruff. Very deserving and very up to the one of the most humble of men I've coached, young men I've coached, who works every day since he's been here, every single day, like he could lose his job. Not every other day, but every day for five years, even on scout team with Shane, every day. And uh, uh, going through what went through this week, uh, not been on the, on the Blitnikoff, uh final finalists. Uh, no more deserving than to break the record here, and here's our home stadium and our university. A player from our university has the most receptions of anybody in the history of college football. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a mouthful <laughs> right there for sure. And Justin had nine catches in the game in the victory against Tulane. We'll have more with Roth back on the show right after this. Building wealth is an ongoing journey. Every step you take should lead in the right direction. At BB&T Wealth, we've spent more than 140 years sharing knowledge and helping clients plan, getting to know you as well as we know your life goals. With the strength of our experience on your side, you have the confidence to make the best financial decisions from one generation to the next. Because the rewards of managing wealth wisely should always be close. BB&T Wealth, sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. Eye Care Center. Eastern North Carolina's premier optometric specialists have become one of the few in the nation to offer patients the most technologically advanced lenses on the market, enabling the personalization of progressive and single vision lenses with our exclusive digital surfacing process that delivers high performance lenses with the most precision in their optical lab in Greenville. Call today to make your appointment for the most precise, accurate lenses on the market. Visit us in Washington, Williamson, Plymouth, and three locations in Greenville. 252-756-4204. North Carolina's leader in distance education, a degree from an established university, an opportunity for a brighter future, a real option for adult learners. East Carolina University. This is Sean. We saw him holding a Bud Light, which means he's up for whatever happens. In this case, Jimmy Johnson. I, Jimmy Johnson, <laughs> challenge you to a little football game. Don't get nervous. dominated the electric football circuit. Yeah, look at the little Jimmy run. He's hurt. He's pushing through. He's pushing through. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's a window. Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens. Why do you ECU online? Because I wanted a program that supports students from registration to graduation. Because I want to feel connected to my professors and classmates, although all my classes are online. Because it allows me to take classes on my own time. A traditional university, professional faculty, North Carolina's leader in online education. Because I want to be ready for tomorrow. Because I am excited about tomorrow. Because my future starts here. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. The Ruffin McNeil Show continues with sponsorship by BB&T. Sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. Member FDIC. And by your local nationwide insurance agents. Strong safe to Lamar Ivey has really paid his dues at East Carolina. Lamar came here and was a backup player and now as a senior he's starting making a big time contribution in the Pirates secondary. Our Brian Bailey had a chance to go one on one with Lamar.
We are indoors tonight because of the cold. Lamar Ivy joins us. I know you guys were disappointed with the loss, but your performance in that game against Cincinnati, you had to be very pleased with that. Yes, sir, I was. Um, I felt like it's something I can build on. I finally had a breakout game and contributed a lot to our success. And the defense struggled in that game, but you were able to, to get some turnovers, and that's really one of the keys of defense, isn't it? Yeah, that's something we preach about all the time, is basically taking the ball away from their offense and giving our offense some opportunities to score. Keel, intercepted. Lamar Ivy. All right, off the field, one of your goals is to have your own clothing line. Mm -hmm. So tell me about that, and what is a Lamar Ivy jacket going to look like or a Lamar Ivy shirt or something like that? Um, well, right now I've been working with some of my friends, and I want to call my, my clothing line Fast Lane. And uh, it's just something that I built on, like, you know, I always been called Fast, so living in the Fast Lane something we just felt like it was catchy, so it's something we, we went with. Now, I've never been called Fast, but well, can you do anything with my outfit here? Can you, can uh, you make it look a little better? Uh, let me see. Let me see. I like it a lot. You know, you know, I like how you got it halfway zipped though, you know, not too tight, you know, kinda of casual. A little casual. Yeah. Captain Cat. <laughs> I like that. Talk about the number seven a little bit. Now we've got two number sevens out there. Mm -hmm. Isaiah's on offense, you're on defense. Who's the better of the number seven? Uh, we both good, you know. <laughs> but I like to say I'm the real seven. I told him I said when I leave, you you're gonna be the real seven. But I feel like he's making this case. He's he had definitely breaking out. Today we're with Chris Mangus, transfer running back from Virginia Tech. Uh, we've been delighted that he chose to transfer here because he was having a good, uh, good career at Virginia Tech and he also gained 1,700 yards uh, his senior year at Broughton High School. Today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some lower leg drills and also some running back drills. Uh, when we conduct speed development drills, one of our primary focuses is the lower leg. 52% of energy return comes from the lower leg. So it's very important that we thicken and stiffen the tendons and ligaments in the knee joint and the ankle joint, and then particularly the Achilles tendon. So we get a great elastic response off the ground. What we're gonna do here today is we're gonna start out with some single leg hops. So Chris, what I want you to do is right leg first, three hops and stop. That's it, go ahead and continue that way. Okay, we're gonna add in a few running back drills. And essentially what we could do is we could do all these drills in one circuit. We're gonna call this Man Run right now. It's named after a guy named Ralph Man. And this is a quick high knee movement. I'm gonna give him a little bit of resistance as we progress. Sit up tall. See, keep working, keep working, keep working. Good. Do one more drill now. Uh, I like the rotation in the hips. We call this crossover in the hole. All right, here we go. Good job. Our Chris has been doing a great job uh, running scout team tailback. Uh, he's got a bright future here. Uh, he's going to be right there in the mix at the running back position next year and we're going to see him perform at a high level. Camp Connors is brought to you by these local nationwide insurance agents. In the nation, it's not always pretty, but add brand new belongings from nationwide insurance and we'll replace destroyed or stolen items with brand new versions. We put members first because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation. Nationwide is on your side. To join the nation, call your local Nationwide insurance agent, Jim Walker in Kenston or Jeff Howard in LaGrange. We've been monitoring a lot of chatter and seeing an unusual amount of activity at this high priority location. Phelps Chevrolet. Turns out this location is selling huge numbers of new vehicles, utilizing exceptional customer service, a knowledgeable sales staff, and pricing and financing tactics that give you your best deal. Phelps Chevrolet. Come in and get you one. We recommend you investigate for yourself. Be advised, however, you may drive off in your perfect new vehicle. 
During the Sudden Link Faster, Better, Easier Switch event, get internet five times faster than DSL. That outranks its competitors in speed and satisfaction, according to PC Mag. And get TV with free HD. Plus, access your Netflix account with TiVo from Suddenlink. Call 877-566-3401 today and enjoy 15 meg internet and TV together for only $59 a month. Plus, add phone for just $10 more a month. This way to get more for less, only from Suddenlink. Touchdown Friday. Friday nights at 11.15 on 9 on your side. I'm Brian Bailey. The final score is your Sunday source for sports. Now your Sunday source for sports is available every day on the final score app. The app will keep you up to date on all the scores, highlights, and video from 9 on your side sports. Download the final score app today. Why do you ECU online? Because I wanted to boost my confidence in my career. Because it gives me the tools to succeed at every step of the way because I have a goal to earn my degree before she does. A traditional university, professional faculty, North Carolina's leader in online education. Because I'm preparing for tomorrow. It has the program I needed. Because I'm excited for tomorrow. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. This week's Look Ahead is brought to you by the Eye Care Center. Eye doctors focused on you and the official eye care provider of the Pirates. The Pirates play Friday night this week against the Tulsa Golden Hurricane at Chapman Stadium in Tulsa, Oklahoma. With our scouting report, here's our Brian Beadle. We might see some fireworks Friday night as two of the better offenses in the American Conference will go toe to toe. Tulsa sophomore quarterback Dane Evans is having a terrific season as he ranks third in total offense in the conference at nearly 270 yards per contest. But that's 100 yards less than what the best quarterback in the league is averaging. That, of course, is ECU's Shane Carden. Tulsa wideout Kevon Lucas is second in the league in both receptions and yards per game, but he trails none other than Pirate and NCAA record holder Justin Hardy. Where the Golden Hurricane have really struggled is on defense. The combination of Cardin to Hardy could put up some big numbers as Tulsa has given up just shy of 490 yards and nearly 40 points per contest. East Carolina has beaten Tulsa four straight times and leads the overall series 6-5. The Pirates are going to spend Thanksgiving in Tulsa. Kickoff is set for Friday at 8.30. The game will be televised on ESPNU. And, of course, you can catch the call on 107.9 with the voice of the Pirates, Jeff Charles. I'm Brian Medor for the Ruffin McNeil Show. The Ruffin McNeil Show has been presented by U.S. Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of the ECU Pirates. The Ruffin McNeil Show is an exclusive presentation of IMG, America's home for college sports.